about two pounds, cute and furry, but it's not a pet. <laughs> Today, a Raleigh zoologist at the Museum of Natural Sciences announced the rare discovery of a new mammal. WRL's Tara Lynn introduces us to the Olinguito and why finding it was so unusual. Scientists say it's a case of mistaken identity for 100 years. All that time, scientists thought this animal was an Olingo, a forest animal in South America. It's in the same family, but a completely different species. Describing any new species is exciting, whether it's a fly or a nematode or a mammal. Um, I'm a mammologist, and you don't find that many new mammals. Raleigh zoologist Roland Kays is one of three men who studied old museum specimens of Olingos and recognized differences in size and types of teeth in some of them. Their research started 10 years ago and led them from Chicago to tracking the animal in Ecuador to genetic labs in Washington, D.C., and ultimately to the discovery of a rare find. 15,000 new species are documented each year, but not like this. The Olinguito is the first find of its kind in more than 30 years. It's actually the first new carnivore in the Western Hemisphere in over 35 years. Kay says the animal is a mix between a cat, teddy bear, and a raccoon. Olinguitos weigh about two pounds, have large eyes, and are native to the cloud forest of Colombia and Ecuador. But the research doesn't end with the announcement of a new species. There's still a lot more to discover about this particular discover. species, right, yeah. in terms of just how many might be out there? How many might, might be out there, where they live, what they're eating, uh, what roles they play in the forest. Kay says the Olinguito discovery shows that we still have a lot to discover about our planet. Tara Lynn, WRL News, Raleigh. And of course, here is the Olinguito. Of course, this is a stuffed, a stuffed version. version yes. Yeah, Kay says it rarely comes out of the trees and has one baby at a time. The group has mapped out other locations where they believe the animal lives. They hope to have future expeditions to those places, and it's who knows what they'll find. Fascinating. I know. You can find this at the Museum of Natural Sciences, mm -hmm. too, if you're interested. Yeah, Learn more about it. I know. Mm -hmm. Really cool. It's like a mouse and a kangaroo. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. <laughs> Reach out and read that.